Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a test video to see in how well the 12 volt skill impact driver and drill driver work. Now in the future we are going to do versus videos against other brands that are the brushless drill and impact which that's uh, Makita, DeWalt, I'll be getting Bosch in the future, yada yada yada. But Today we are going to test this out. I believe this was $110 for the kit. And when it comes to uh, the extra battery, I did buy the four amp hour battery separate. And as you guys know, having a four amp hour, uh, having a higher amp hour battery will improve the performance of the tool. So we will be testing out what it is like to do the two amp hour against the four amp hour and see if there's a real difference with that. All right, so I already did do this live. Uh, that's already available to watch, but I wanted to do a real video with the timer and seeing how well these actually truly perform, especially that it they didn't do too well in the uh, in the live streams. So I'm going to go over the specs really quick and seeing how well these actually do. All right, so for the brushless impact driver, this is model number ID five seven four four zero one, twelve volt brushless motor. This goes to, it has two, uh, two speed settings, low and high. First speed is zero, 0 to 1600 RPM, and on speed two, 0 to 2600 RPM. Uh, it does not say what the impacts per minute or the torque is. I'll put that in right now. And so, yes, it does love on how the LEDs in the front actually are, because it's actually one solid, it is one solid ring instead of a couple of uh, lights. I do like the way that that looks. So we are using the two-hour uh, two -hour battery is full. Now, one thing that is very unique about the skill batteries is the, the battery itself has a USB charger on it, which I think that should be standard for all batteries throughout all platforms. It, uh, it should be standard to have a USB directly on the battery. You can charge your... Uh, portable devices with, which that to me is seriously, seriously awesome to have. You know, you don't need a, any special adapter. You just plug it in straight to the battery. So that is a skill brushless impact driver. Let's put the battery back in. Speed one. Speed two. So we'll see how this actually performs. All right, so for the drill driver, this is a brushless motor. This is 17 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. And this is model number DL59001, half inch metal chuck with a plastic housing. This goes to uh, two speed settings. This goes to zero to 450 RPMs on speed one and on speed two, zero to 1700 RPMs. So that is speed one, speed two, single LED light on the base. Of course, it does come with bell clips. And yes, just, uh, just like the two amp hour, the four amp hour battery also has a USB port, which should be standard. Like it's 2020. That, uh, if any other company is watching, they should make that standard. And last, the charger. What this is, this is actually a special charger. What this uh, does, which I'm taking this information from VZG Construction when they did their uh, unboxing of their skilled 12 volt tool, this charger will actually charge up your battery 25% in the first five minutes, just in case if you have a last minute things and you don't, you don't need a full battery. So it'll charge 25% in five minutes. Now, I do not know if that is also true with the four amp hour, that might just be the two amp hour battery. The four amp hour battery obviously will take longer. So I, uh, if it's true for the four amp hour battery as well, that would be awesome. But, but yeah. So this is uh, you could mount it on the wall, two and a half inches in between the screws. And yeah, the model number for the charger is QC five three five seven zero one, one hundred sixty ninety watts, twelve point uh, six. Yeah, it's a standard charger. Uh, it does does have that uh, boost feature, so you could, uh, which I think you just push that button right there to do a jump. And one last thing, I just wanted to point out that the charger also has a USB port on that. 
which that's awesome. So uh, every company needs to start doing that. Put it on your charger and put it on your battery. So like this is standard now, it should be standard. All right, so let's see what these could actually do. Remember when you work with gloves and safety glasses? I got mine right here. So first what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the, the drill with a two amp hour battery and see what this bad boy can do. You know what, let's just do one. We are gonna start off small. Let's do a one inch spade bit first. No, it's not a ratcheting chuck. You just tighten it. We're gonna try it on speed two. Let's see what this can do. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Failed on speed two. Let's go to speed one. Do it right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, time. All right, let's go to the two amp hour battery. Uh, let's go to the four amp hour battery. Let's see what it can do. Battery is full. And I do apologize, the battery is full on the two amp hour as well. Do it right next to it. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. We're just gonna continue this one because I have a feeling it's gonna fail. All right, so ready? Ready? Go. Aw. Oh. It was able to do it, but you gotta pull, pull a couple of times. All right, so let's try it on speed one. All right, so ready? A little bit more in, ready, go. Time. It did it. All right, so let's next, let's do, let's see if it can do a three quarter inch drill bit. I, I will be impressed if it can. It is tight, gonna try it on speed two with a two amp hour battery. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Aw, it's on speed two, not bad. All right, let's see if we can do it all the way through. Ready, go. Nope, it stopped. All right, let's see if we can do that on speed two with a four amp hour battery. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it stopped as well. It's not even through. All right, so let's do speed one then. Speed one, ready, go. Do that one more time right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It did it. <coughs> now, one thing I will admit, when I did this live, I was using a 4x6. So uh, maybe the 4x6 is a bit too extreme for the 12 volt tools. I usually use a, a pressure treated 2x4. So that's that. Let's actually, uh, I want to do one more test. One more. <coughs> We'll just do this with a four amp hour battery. Let's see what this can do with a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're gonna try speed two really quick. We'll do it over here. All right, so ready, ready, go. Nope, failed. Excuse me, speed one. Let's do it over this knot. Let's do a little stress test on it. All right, so ready, go. Oh, I gave out. It, it did it though.
it did it in two pulls on a pressure treated two by four. Yeah, like, like I said, what I did in the live stream is a bit too extreme for the drill. But, uh, but yeah. All right, but let's uh, move over to the log and see in how well this does with uh, driving in some timber locks. And right here is good. It's on speed. We'll see if, we can, if it can do it on speed too. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, they cannot on speed two. Let's take it out. Let's go right here, so it's on speed one. All right, so ready? Go. Time, it did it. It was able to do it on speed one. All right, let's take it out. All right, so ready, go. Time, it was able to do an eight inch lag. All right, let's see on how well this does with a Spex. All right, let's put this into the drill driver. All right, we already know it can't do it on speed uh, two, so let's just do it speed one. Right here is good. Six inch specs. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take it out. Then we'll move on to the impact driver. Ready, go. All right, not, not too shabby. All right, so let's uh, move over to the impact driver. We are gonna see the difference between a two amp hour and four amp hour with that. All right, so we'll do it right here, and then we'll do the four amp hour next to it. All right, so ready? Oh, sorry, battery is still full. It's on high. Ready? Go. Time. Right, let's swap batteries out. Battery on the four amp hour is still full. Let's do it right next to it. Right here is good. A little bit more. There we go. All right, so ready? Go. I have to redo that because I felt like it was going into the other screw. We'll do it on this side. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I, uh, I'm not sure if I felt a difference. I can definitely tell that there's a difference in the, mo in the sound of the motor. But performance-wise, only time will tell. All right, so let's take it out with the two amp hour battery. Ready, go. Time. Let's do the four amp hour next. Then after this, we're gonna use a four amp hour from here on out. All right, so ready, go. Time. It's too close to tell with that one when it comes to performance. I am not too sure. But let's do a single specs. Then I actually want to do a four inch uh, by half inch lag. Let's see what this can do with a uh, six inch specs. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I felt the motors, uh, the anvil skipped a little bit. The anvil skipped a little bit on that. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Go.
not too not too shabby now like i do these tests because these these are more extreme tests than by just by using a few inch screw you know i'll give you an example really quick i'm just going to pop in a milwaukee bit right here you know if i just use like a yeah we'll just use this yeah, i'll just use this if i just use a few inch screw you know that's not really much of a test that's too it's not it's not stressful enough i'm like that's that's like a, a second and a half that's it. the those type of tests aren't stressful enough on the motor so that's why i do these type of tests and that's why next we are going to do a four inch by half inch lag using a 19 millimeter socket all right so ready go Time. It did it. Right, so let's take it out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I got an Asian beetle or a ladybug here that is just going crazy right now. All right, so that is the test video for the skill 12 volt impact brushless impact driver and drill driver. Now, uh, I am very pleased with these results. Uh, these are worthy to be in versus videos against other brands, and so they will. I got plenty of videos coming up, you guys. And so uh, the Black Friday sales, I am hitting them up. I got my first purchase. I got my first purchase right here. We'll do, uh, I'll show you guys what that is in a future video. But yeah, so like this is a, uh, but this, uh, these two tools aren't that bad. They aren't that bad after uh, doing these tests. I am, I'm excited to do these uh, videos against other brands. If, if you were looking at these and you were interested to buy them, make sure you get a four amp hour battery uh, and not just only a two amp hour battery. You need, you want a higher amp hour battery. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.